Here we have an actual big blockbuster theater movie. Ooh, we got Shark Night. This was made by the people who made Snakes on a Plane and Final Destination. I love those movies, but apparently nothing's as crazy as Snakes on a Plane. We got sharks in the fucking water. That's scarier than Snakes on a Plane, Snakes on a Train, whatever it is. Final Destination, we got sharks in the fucking river, in the water, whatever it is. Shark Night, which was released in theaters, so it has a bit of a high budget. Let's just get right into the movie, shall we? The plot of Shark Night is a bit generic at first glance. It's about a bunch of college students in Louisiana of all places and they go out to this lake which has an island in the middle of it on spring break. They just want to have a good time, you know, some good sex uh, and drink a bunch or whatever. Uh, you've seen it like a million times, like it's just the ultimate generic horror stereotype here. So while the beginning is really generic, this movie takes a turn for the dark side, like the really dark side. It was made by the people who made Final Destination, like I said earlier, and it shows this movie is a really messed up plot. Like, it gets so ridiculously messed up. I'm not going to spoil it. I don't even really feel comfortable talking about it, to be entirely honest. All I can say is out of all the shark movies I've seen for this marathon, which I might add is over 40 at this point, this has the most messed up story of them all. Open Water was the previous holder, but this is more messed up on a psychological perspective. The people in this movie are some fucked up hillbillies. Like there are just so many things wrong with this plot. Not as in it's bad wrong, as in it's messed up and it's unethical. The flight, the it's just, yeah, no, it's, it's bad. In terms of like review, the story was pretty alright, but I gotta say, this is like the most messed up shark movie I've ever seen. So I guess it's gotta be pretty good for the plot then. Gets a thumbs up from my book. So in terms of screen time for the shark in this movie, it was not actually that great. They tried to do a whole quality over quantity thing here, and it doesn't really work out that great. I mean, it's not bad, and the quality, like, when it's when the shark is on screen is pretty good, but I, I would have liked a little more. It does fall into the stereotype of, hey, there's like no shark in the movie when it's a shark movie. The end of the movie at least has a lot of shark screen time, so the end, it was pretty good, but... Like the first hour or so, there's really not that much at all. I will say that this movie does have some rare species of shark in it. Some that I've never even seen in another shark movie. That's always a nice plus. But of course there's the giant shark that looks like a giant shark. But hey, having some rare types of shark in this movie is always a huge plus. I need some more variety in these movies, please. Totally gets a thumbs up from me. So when it comes to the shark kills and CGI, this movie doesn't feature that many kills per se. It has a decent amount of kills in it, like a few, but instead it drags them out and lets you see everything in all its fucked up glory. Like while there isn't a ton of kills, each one is really quite long and you see like everything. So this is a quality over quantity case. This time though it actually succeeds in that. I gotta say the kills were actually pretty good. One kill in particular is pretty meme worthy. The other ones were good too, but not as good as that one. That's the best one. Forget jumping the shark, this time the shark jumps you. I will say at least the CGI was pretty excellent. The movie did have a pretty high budget though, so it's kind of expected to have a good looking shark. It is good looking sharks in the movie. They all animate really well, and they don't look stilted in the slightest. And they all look good. It looks pretty believable for once. It's nice to see every once in a while a shark that doesn't look fake as fuck. Finally. But then again, there, there was a higher budget, more money in it, you know, how it is. Another thumbs up for me is some of the best looking sharks in general animation out of any of the movies I've reviewed so far. The acting in this movie was actually pretty decent. It wasn't really bad at all. The main woman in the movie isn't exactly good, but she's the only one that I can say wasn't good. Everyone else was pretty alright for the most part. Again, bigger budget, so I figured they'd find slightly better actors. The acting definitely gets a pass and it's pretty good. The fucked up people in this movie are actually pretty good at playing fucked up people who do not give a fuck what you think. So I gotta give them some props. It was actually pretty good on an acting department besides the main girl. She was just, oh, she was whatever. Overall, I guess Shark Night is actually not that bad. As a shark movie, it's pretty great. It's better than a majority of these damn shark movies I've looked at. I will say though, it is a bit boring, but at least it has some production quality behind it. 
the movie had a bigger budget like I've said it has way more money put into it it has a theatrical release it had a real director and some good acting the shark looks great the kills are actually good I actually do recommend this movie I know a lot of people didn't like this movie especially when it came out but I think it's pretty good on a, as a shark movie but this is coming from a guy who's watched well over 20 shark movies in a row with a budget of less than even a million dollars so maybe I'm just a little surprised to see something that isn't totally shit. It's actually a horror movie too, which is nice. It's pretty rare for these shark movies where it's like I'm not laughing. It's kind of actually scary. So on the shark scale, I'm going to have to give it a good old disqualification. My rule is if the budget is higher than Jaws, it's no longer eligible for the shark scale. This movie had a much, much higher budget than Jaws. So it gets disqualified. Uh, the only other movie to get disqualified so far was The Shallows, which I would have given a 6 out of 5, breaking the shark scale. This movie definitely does not get a 6 out of 5, even though it's off the shark scale. I'd probably get a 4, but that doesn't matter, since it's, on the, it's not on the scale. It's a good enough one to watch. It's not really a campy B-movie, though. you got to keep that in mind. Like, it's a legit film. I mean, it's unique, and hey... It's fucked up. That's the number one going thing for it. It's really fucked up. So I'll see you guys next time. And hopefully it'll be a nicer review. Probably not.